just sitting in my garage. It's an October morning. Um, as you can see from this little thermometer, it's probably about 57, 56 degrees in the garage. It's still dropping, but I don't expect it to drop much more than that. And behind me, I have this enamelware container. I believe it is about two gallons. That's a guess. And you can see right up here, I have the water filled up to just below this first set of bottom holes up here. So I don't know how well this will do in the solar scorcher. Um, I don't know if it'll be tough on it or not. The stainless steel I wasn't as worried about, but figured, well, might as well give it a shot, right? Now, if I were to check the temperature of the water, so it says 56.6 .6 degrees in the garage. You have to give this thermometer a little bit of time. So it says the water is 77.2 degrees. I think a full boil is 212 degrees, so let's go see what we can do in uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so. I'm standing about 25 to 30 feet away from the solar scorcher and the water. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but I can hear the water um, taking the heat right now. I wouldn't say boiling, but you know, taking the heat and the, you can hear the heat transfer. I'll check it here in a few minutes, uh, maybe after the 10 minute mark and see where we're at. Again, that's probably about two gallons of water. I was wondering if it was going to be tough on the enamel, and it's actually not. As soon as I rotate it, I can touch it to the hand and it, it doesn't feel like it's heating it up. All right, I've been babysitting this, trying to keep it in the focal point. I don't have to move it much, but you do need to watch it if you want to keep the uh, intensity up. Let's see what the temperature is. I, I doubt you'll be able to see it. It's still climbing, so I'm watching it. You might be able to see it. About 98. Just hovering over 98 degrees. That's on the outside. Let's see if it's the same on the inside, which it should be. 99, 100, 100.4 degrees right now on the inside. That's 10 minutes for probably two to two and a half gallons. Oh, here I thought I was recording and just talking to myself, apparently I wasn't recording. The sun went behind a cloud, and the noise, the um, heat transfer that you can hear, died down completely. And as the sun started to peek out from behind the cloud, the intensity increased. We are just getting out from behind the cloud now, and you can actually hear it picking up. While we're waiting for that to hit maybe the 15 or 20 minute mark, I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I built this frame. Um, if you go watch Grant Thompson's, it's very similar to his. Um, I, I happen to have like, some hinges, so I used those, clipped off the ends. Um, and instead of using a piece of MDF like he did for this arm, which actually is kind of a locking arm, um, I had a CNC machine. I just used some 16 gauge steel. My frame's a little smaller than his. Um, I think his stands up higher off the ground. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to go buy some more 2x4s to rip them or anything like that. So just used what I had. And it probably stands about four feet off the ground at the hinge. And tucks away nicely. Still need to find a permanent home for it, but. I'll do that next year when I build the shed. All right, it's been about 20 minutes since I started this. Um, five minutes of that time, the sun was kind of behind the clouds. And I just took a temperature reading, and I don't think I... Oh, I do still have it on. It says 110 on the... 110.9, 111.2. So we're about 111.2 with... Roughly 15 minutes. It was, like I said, 20 minutes, but the sun was behind the clouds, so what can you do? That's just the way it is. 
Now, typically what I would do is boil a much smaller amount of water. I just wanted to see how well it would do with, you know, this two, two and a half gallon container. I'm probably going to actually dump it out here and stop this test now and, and boil a, a smaller amount of water and see how well it does. Actually, I may just use the same container and dump out most, about half of it. Okay, it's been about five minutes, maybe four. And I took the water level down from right about here down to about this area. I wanted to keep it above these ridges because that has been my focal point for a while. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't get that uh, focal point above the water. So at this point, I'm assuming there's about one gallon of water, maybe a hair less. Um, but again, it's been about five minutes since I took out the water. It was about 111 degrees at the time that I took that much out. I just want to see where we're at. I don't know if you can see that. We're at 126 degrees, so we've gone up about 15 degrees in five minutes. Um, as that's climbing rapidly now, I think I'll just go another five minutes and check up. Alright, the water boiling has just stopped because the sun's gone behind a cloud. It's about, I wanted to check it at the five minute mark, which would have been about 10 minutes since I took the water out, a lot of it, gallon to a gallon and a half. But since the water stopped boiling because the sun's behind a cloud, we might as well take a measurement. Um, this has been about three to four minutes longer than my last measurement. We're almost at 133.2 degrees. And the sun has gone way behind those clouds. It's being blocked out pretty well right now. In fact, not even close to being warm right now other than the, this is warm. Sun is just barely starting to come out of the clouds. And if I find the focal point, you can see I have fire. Maybe if I point the camera in the right direction. And that's with the sun halfway behind the clouds. Find the focal point again.